tickled you yeah. with it. Welcome, welcome, Ooh. welcome to second part of the round table where the old men of Redacted, old men of Umu, get to tell you guys about our impressions. Not that we have put close to 40 hours in the last three days. 24. 24 hours? <laughs> Wait, who's wrong? <laughs> no, it's definitely not 40 hours. Uh, there was nothing. We're good. Just... It's fine. It's been a that long time. We, 13 we're tired. hours a day? We're you think we play Call of Duty 13 hours a day? Didn't we? No. It's been a mess. It, right it, now, eight to nine hours a day. Our brains are mush. Our sleep schedules are First all of all, out of whack. I guess <laughs> they don't understand sarcasm. Okay. I was being ironical, Hutch. Mm. Because we played a lot and I over, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we did the first round table, which you guys saw a couple of days ago on the channel. And now we're sitting here as seasoned search and destroy beasts, literal machines on the court. I have 82 plants. You did. Do we have a. Which is absurd. Uh, do we have a positive record yet or is it perfect? I, I think we're one and above now. I think we're 14 really? and 13. We're 14 and 13. All Pretty right, good. boys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we usually lose all the, the starting ones, and then once we get all our communication down pat, it's... it's Which and, we still and Hutch don't listens. know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, and Hutch is still playing S&D, or TDM, while we play S&D. Uh, but anyway, so now it's time to discuss. Obviously, we had our wishes as to certain things, and now I think that we're like almost experts on, on things that... One, dead silence needs to be a thing. And Yeah, which how, they said, they tweeted out that they are, the fix is coming. They, they, they know that it's not working the way it's intended. It's something, it's coming. Just don't know how long. I don't know if I, like, I almost feel like, like, instead of dead silence being a thing, just just make everyone's footsteps substantially less quiet. I know that people, like, we complained about it the first beta, like, oh, you couldn't hear any footsteps during the 2v2 gunfight beta. But it's almost like, like, if you put it in as a perk, it's just going to be a crutch perk. Everybody's going to use it. Yeah, I don't um, think it should be a Unless perk. you seriously nerf the sound of footsteps in general. So like, you should only be able to hear someone if they're like five feet away from you. Cause like right now you can hear somebody literally 30 feet away. Yeah. yeah. It's, and, it's and, kind and, of more just, it kind of gets you in trouble a little bit more. Like we've all had it where we thought somebody's much further away or much closer and then they ended up. It's like everybody's got sit rep pro from uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And you can hear like, cause like we'll be standing near boiler on a gun runner and we'll hear something and we'll think he's in bathroom but he's actually on train tracks. like. 40 feet yeah. away. We can hear him like stewy feet, like pit, pitter patter. Um, and then, yeah, dead silence, like not working is pretty frustrating. But I almost think that like they, you know, they, if they if they add it as a perk, they really need to nerf the, the sound of footsteps just in general, I think. The other thing, there's a lot of bombs uh, that are placed in weird parts of the map. That map in, uh, what's that name of that map? St. Saint, uh, Saint, uh Carlsbad. St. Carlsbad? That's not what it is. St. Part of Peter Petersburg. Start, it's something Pete. like that. It Peter, starts with a P. St. Peter Parker. Pete, right? it's essentially, everybody just runs to A, and that's it. Petrograd. That's it. Petrograd, that's it, yeah. Yeah. You just sprint to A as fast as you can, and it's just, a, it's just carnage. Yeah. Now, mind you, the what we are giving you is all game battle private competitive matches. Mm. None of the suggestions or any discussions that we're having right now have to do with pub matches we haven't played ground war on query we didn't play a single game of or maybe for like warm-ups we played a little bit of uh of of pubs but the the, the majority of our of our experience 99 percent of our experience comes from uh from game battles yeah. matches which to me i gotta say i had a lot of fun i've had more fun i mean i think we've played more old men of optic matches in the last three days than we have in the last two years um, it's probably like that, pretty yeah. close, I'd say. Because last time we, we played Old Men of, old men of uh, Umu matches was during Modern Warfare Remastered. Maybe a little bit of uh, World War II, but aside from that, there was absolutely nothing uh, in the books for us. Uh, I mean, we did play together, but not in a competitive setting the way that we have. And I got to say, I, for one, enjoy the ish out of it. I know that when I get home, I'm going to want to play more, but obviously mm. you guys are going to be uh, watching programs, sleeping, or whatever it is that you guys are going to do. So... I don't know. No, you say you get back on Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah. But was, how, how did you like it? Did you like S&D? You liked the, the gameplay? I really enjoyed it. I mean, I understand people's frustrations with some of the maps. Some of the maps are, um, like, I have no interest in the 10v10 maps, the big maps. Um, uh, and I hear they, I haven't played free-for-all yet, but I hear that they're using some of the big maps for free-for-all. So, like, an eight-person free-for-all on these gigantic maps um, where it's, it's rare that they even... 
excuse me, reach the um, score limit. It's like always going to time because yeah. map's so big and you can hear everybody's footsteps. So they definitely have a few um, wrinkles that they need to iron out. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there needs to be just like a little bit more polish. But the thing is, is like, I think that these devs this year are so um, hungry and thirsty because Fortnite drew blood. Yeah, It's like the first game ever in the game's life cycle where they, the, the, another game came in and actually posed a legitimate threat to it. Plus um, you have the COD League, so they need to, it's, you know, it's a lot, a lot of stuff writing on this game yeah I to, be, to be done right but i'm saying but i'm saying community feedback i think they're going to get on it like real fast yeah i mean they, they've already announced that they have something mm -hmm. that they, they haven't done in the past uh which which to me is good because uh, epic games for the most part is very good at listening to to people but they're also very well they used uh, to be <laughs> they sure. used to be yeah yeah they now used to they, be at the beginning well they're, we used to praise them for doing that they're, they're, we're not they, talking about that we're talking about i games. still think they list uh, yeah 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 so I don't know. I I do think that that they are going to be on on top of their game. Not not just because of the Call of Duty uh, uh, League, but because of you know there's so many eyeballs on them, right? They're such a storied franchise that all they have to do now is just like not mess it up. And I think that they hit the ground sort of stumbling because how big the maps were, how cluttered the maps were. I mean, if you think about every single other uh, other iteration of Call of Duty, when have you ever turned a corner and had a building with with a with a broken door in like seven different broken areas plus a window where you can get shot from never in like i'm talking about never you've never turned a corner and you have all these scenarios in which you can get shot advanced from. warfare was pretty nutty just because it was there's so much verticality in the game yeah so you'd have to like i thought i felt like that game was a little bit like that but um but yeah i mean another thing too i would i think i would probably get rid of the doors altogether I'm they're, with you on that. They're, I agree. They're, they're they just make too much noise. So it's like if you want to, if you if you have dead silence and you want to make like a, like a like a flank push through boiler room, uh, if you're on the defensive side, um, it's impossible to do because the only way to do it is by slamming through a door. Yeah, and then I they think can they, I think doors could be fine. I don't mind the doors being there, but I read someone saying they should just open automatically when you when you walk up to them. They should open on their own, so it's just part of fluid movement. Mm. They also shouldn't be so super loud, but when you want to close them, you have to hold X. It's like close yeah. the door. Well, I mean, they square. should open. Well, square. square. Yeah, yeah. They, but, they should open. And, but you like, can't just walk up to it because what if you don't want to open the door? You just walk up to it and it opens by yeah. itself. No, you're right. You know, so it's yeah. it's it's a uh, just make them totally silent. <clears throat> I think that could from be a gun's yeah. perspective, I think they sh they should have some noise, but not like you're. I mean, who? Nobody's. I've never seen anybody open a door like that. Even even cop videos, they don't open doors that loud. What do you mean? Oh, like, yeah. It's yeah. The, even when you open it, none of the doors are lubed. They're all squeaky. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah. Gone's perspective, last last question. Uh, Gone's perspective, everything's good, balanced so far. You haven't seen anything that... M4 is pretty dominant. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, there's there's pretty really only two guns you see. It's the, it's the MP7 and the M4. MP4, which, yeah. And the MP5 is well, out there, too. Well, that's not even... I don't even see that one as much. Yeah, but, the, all the pros use it. All the pros use the MP5 well, over the MP7. Well, say what we've been running into. Yeah. We've, oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's you're MP, not really yeah, seeing MP7 a variety of, of guns, which yeah. is what I was hoping to see because of how many different variations and you combinations just, you could make with a gun and make it kind of fit whatever your play style is. It's still M4s. It's three guns, and that's it. I so your like favorite it. gun so far, Hutch? Apart from the M4, um, I would say the MP5. MP5, yeah. Mike? The MP7 feels the most consistent. I'm gonna go with the MP7. Uh, although, if if the M4 wasn't that dominant, it was a little bit, you know, less less uh, less powerful. Then I would go full MP7. I would like to use the AK, but it's you just. I, it's, I the AK to is today. almost I forgot. impossible. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. almost impossible. The, the recoil is just out of control. They yeah. they actually they they buffed it since the beta, mm -hmm. and I think the recoil was the thing that they buffed. So, oh. so we haven't. Well, we haven't experimented with it. Yeah. We, we'll, we'll. I really just stuck we'll with have it. something else. So uh, right now. Uh, if you were to give, if you were to rank it, uh, dude, it's impossible to rank a game like like well, COD. Because, because, well, okay. If I had to, if I had to rank it right now, I, like I if would the game it, wasn't live ever again after tomorrow, what would you have given it? With the caveat being that I think the score will be different in like a month, two months after after they kind of get a better feel for the game and they tune it a little bit. But if I had to give it a rating right now, I'd probably give it like an eight. Mike. Uh, yeah, I'd give it like an almost eight and a half, nine. Because mm -hmm. that way I, I rate things because of the, the experience I'm having on it, and that's us doing the movie. That's why Ghost for me is so high because we on my list because that's the where Ultimate of Optics started. So there's nostalgia there, and this is it. It reminds it, me of it. GBs, GB S and D for that this game 
they feel great. I don't know what pubs are like, um, but GBs, yeah. if you're out there and you haven't experienced it, make a make a make a team. Yeah, and 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 check it out because I think you'll have a lot of a, a lot, lot of fun. fun. Yeah, I sure. agree. What about you? Uh, eight and a half, eight and a half as well. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Can't wait to get back from my business trip tomorrow on on Tuesday, uh, and then get to get to work on the yeah. score. I might try to play the campaign tomorrow then, since we're not doing any Umu. I heard really yeah, good things about people the are raving campaign. about it. I haven't played a campaign since Crossing the Rhine in Call of Duty too. So anyway, uh, thank you guys. All the information for these two chaps are gonna be, is gonna be in the description down below. Uh, let us know what your favorite gun in the game is right now in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And we'll see you guys on Twitch if you guys are gonna be watching mm -hmm. the Old Man of Redacted. We'll see you guys on the next Our one. Thanks. Thank you so much to our sponsor, Game Fuel, uh, for a limited time. Uh, the limited edition Game Fuel. Slash Modern Warfare Call of Duty cans, which have a double XP 45 minute uh, multiplier in the back and also unlockables for operator uh, skins. skins. Yeah. We'll see you guys on the next one. Good. <laughs>